All right, we got these two Williamson boilers, tune-ups. Pretty filthy, dirty. We'll clean everything up here. We're shoving on the M18. We'll walk the back. I did the one on the left. Kelvin's working on the one on the right still. I want him to adjust the, the gas valve down there and the levels weren't right, but we'll let him hold off on that for a minute because I don't know. Anyway, I got, oh, before I do that, this boiler over here, it's hot, even just cold still coming back. So we're gonna purge this out. So we got the purge station right here, right? So I'm gonna close this valve, right? I'm gonna open this valve up right here. And then get the, get the hot water through this boiler, open up the fast fill, all right? Keep an eye on the pressure. I know it's the wrong way. Keep an eye on the pressure. It's like nothing's really coming out of this bad boy. Nothing's really coming out of there. So, getting the air out. See that, guys? A lot of air. Well, she wasn't circulating. A lot of air. I got the fast fill lever lifted up. All right, get all the air out. I'm gonna keep an eye on the pressure. You don't want to go above like 30 ish, which is where it is almost right now. Pull the air out before circulation. He's still putzing around over there. Don't ask me what he's putzing around with doing, but he's seen me do that at least several dozen times that he's referring to his phone maybe. But Calvin, why don't you just wait and let me do it because I don't need you second guessing and getting to do it wrong, you know? I'm just gonna crack it open a little bit. Make sure the pressure's up there. See? We're good. We're good. Close this bad boy up a little bit. Open that up, and voila, check the pressure. Looks like she's about right around 15 PSI. All right, so let this one circulate. She's firing, see that? She's firing up. So let this one run. So now over here, nothing of my eye, I swear. I swear, I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. Let's put that down right there. I had him working on this one. It's kind of hard to get it in there. Need to Let's see if you would drill the right size hole. You stick the thing in there. No. Oh man, I don't do it myself sometimes. Guys, you know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying? It's Monday. Come on, Amaya. Oh my God, what are you doing? So much pressure, huh? Give me the drill. Give me the drill. There's nothing wrong with the battery. The battery's good. Is the battery good? The battery's dead. What's the battery right there, Kelvin? No, that one's bad too. Yo. Is it both bad? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Come on, Kelvin. Get with the program. Oh. Oh. Raiden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're in Rosedale. Two family house, two boilers. GE. I'm with St. Mike's like GE. We bring good things to life. Uh, let's wait for Kelvin to get back. 
But look, Kelvo just cleaned this one out, right? Look at it. Filthy. All right, look at mine. Nice and clean. <sighs> Take pride in your work, guys. Take pride in your work. Good Williamson. Is he back yet? Watch back. Finally. Stick the probe in, it wants to be about halfway in the flue. Right around there. Let's take a look at our readings. Move the chair out of the way, Kelvin. So I can sit here. So it looks like we're our O2 is kind of low. Carbon oxide is kind of high. We're gonna make some adjustments to the valve right there. Oh, looks like we have a little short here. See that? Look at that. Oh, it's not about. Spinning around. There you go. She's going to open back up. We're going to adjust this gas valve. this thing heat up again. Look, you can even put the plate in right. See that? Look at that, guys. What side of the cover? Look. Look at that. You didn't even put the, the cover back in the right place. What did you say for yourself, Kelvin? Can't even have it do a tune-up, man. A year later. You're into it. I still can't do a tune-up. Turn this bad boy back on. We better adjust the gas valve. What should my O2 percentage be on an atmospheric boiler? Between four and nine percent. What? Between four to nine percent. Between four and nine percent. And we're at six point two three. And our carbon monoxide is coming down. A little more adjustments to go on that. Sorry, guys. You know, some things are better off to the professionals to see how they're done. Can't show you that. Too many homeowners out there. You need the right tools. You should know how to adjust the gas valve. I'm going to crank this down a little bit more. My CO is creeping. check out that one this one was pretty dirty she was very dirty as you can tell all the crap in there all right 6.2 I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this down any lower I'd like to get that CO under 50 but I'm gonna have too little gas pressure going through there so that'd be easy with that Williamson 70k BTU gross stack temperature a little bit on the high side all right we got these two Williamson boilers tune up it's pretty filthy dirty we'll clean everything up here we're shoving on the M18 we'll walk the back I did the one on the left. Kelvin's working on the one on the right still. 
want him to adjust the, the gas valve down there and the levels weren't right, but we'll let him hold off on that for a minute because I don't know. Anyway, I got, oh, before I do that, this boiler over here, it's hot, believe me, just cold still coming back. So we're gonna purge this out. So I got the purge station right here, right? So I'm gonna close this valve. All right, I'm gonna open this valve up right here. And then get the, get the hot water through this boiler, open up the fast fill. All right. Keep an eye on the pressure. No, it's the wrong way. Keep an eye on the pressure. Like nothing's really coming out of this bad boy. Nothing's really coming out of there. There we go. Getting the air out. See that, guys? A lot of air. Of course, you wouldn't circulate. A lot of air. I got the fast fill lever lifted up. All right, get all the air out. Right, keep an eye on the pressure. You don't want to go above like 30-ish, which is where it is almost right now. Get all the air out, restore circulation. He's still putzing around over there. Don't ask me what he's putzing around with doing, but he's seen me do that at least several dozen times. I don't know if he's referring to his phone. Maybe. But Calvin, why don't you just wait and let me do it because I don't need you second guessing. I'm getting to doing it wrong, you know? I'm just gonna crack it open a little bit. Just make sure the pressure's up there. See? Look good. Look good. Close this bad boy up a little bit. Open that up. And voila. Check the pressure. Looks like she's around right around 15 psi. All right, so let this one circulate. She's firing. See that? She's firing up. So let this one run. So now over here, nothing of my eyes. I swear. I swear I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. Let's put that down right there. I had him working on this one. Kind of hard to get it in there. I need to Let's see if you would drill the right size hole. You stick the thing in there. No. Oh man, I'm doing myself sometimes. Guys, you know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's Monday. Come on, Amaya. Oh my God, what are you doing? So much pressure, huh? Give me the drill. Give me the drill. Nothing wrong with the battery. The battery's good. Is the battery good? The battery's dead. What's the battery right there, Kelvin? No, that one's bad too. Yo. Is the bolt bad? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Come on, Kelvin. Get with the program. Oh. Raiden. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're in Rosedale. My family house, two boilers. GE. I'm with St. Mike's like GE. We bring good things to life. Uh, let's wait for Calvin to get back. But look, Calvin just cleaned this one out, right? Look at it. Filthy. All right, look at mine. Nice and clean. <sighs> Take pride in your work, guys. Take pride in your work. Go Williamson. Is he back yet? Oh, he's back. Finally.
stick the probe in. I want to be about halfway in the flue. Right around there. Let's take a look at our readings. Move the chair out of the way, Kelvin. So I can sit here. Let's take a look at where our O2 is kind of low. Carbon monoxide is kind of high. We're gonna make some adjustments to the valve right there. That's the valve. Ooh. Looks like we have a little short here. See that? Look at that. Oh, it's not about. Spinning around. There you go. She's gonna open back up. We're gonna adjust this gas valve. So let this thing heat up again. Look, you didn't even put the plate in right. See that? Look at that, guys. What side of the cover? Look. Look at that. You didn't even put the, the cover back in the right place. What did you say for yourself, Kelvin? Can't even have it do a tune up, man. A year later. You're into it. I still can't do a tune up. Let's see. All right. Let's turn this bad boy back on. We better adjust the gas valve. What should my O2 percentage be on an atmospheric boiler? Between four to nine percent. What? Between four to nine percent. Between four to nine percent. And we're at 6.23, and our carbon monoxide is coming down. A little more adjustments to go on that. Sorry, guys, you know, some things are you know, better off to the professionals to see how they're done. Can't show you that. Too many homeowners out there. You need the right tools. You should know how to adjust a gas valve. Crank this down a little bit more. My CO is creeping. The flame. Now we're gonna check out that one. This one was pretty dirty. She was very dirty, as you can tell. All the crap in there. 6.2. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this down any lower. I'd like to get that CO under 50, but I'm going to have too little gas pressure going through there, so that'd be easy with that. And this Williamson 70k BTU. Gross. Stack temperature. A little bit on the high side. 